Hey everybody, I just came home from the flea market. I'm talking a bit low because um, the wife is still asleep and I don't want to wake her up. Uh, I didn't film anything for two reasons. Number one, I forgot my camera. It's just that stupid. And number two, I wouldn't have anyway filmed anything because um, the flea market was like behind my apartment in the middle of the city on the street so there's nothing to see here anyway. I just wanted to quickly show you guys the crap I bought because I took about 20 something euros with me which is like I don't know, multiplied by like 20%, like 25-ish euros, dollars, 20 euros something. Um, that so made no sense whatsoever. I brought 20 something euros, which is about 25-ish dollars. And I actually spent everything. And um, I was one of the first ones there. My parents um, had a, boo a booth stall thingy this time. They were there at like four, 15 in the morning and I considering I was able to walk there and I didn't need to count on anybody I didn't need to rely on anybody to go there I was there at like 7.20ish I was walking there already and any earlier would have been useless because people were still um, setting up their booths, booths, stalls, what do you say? and I even helped a dude put his stall together so I could quickly look at his games he didn't have anything yet, like Mario and Duck Hunt and Starwing, Star Fox for you guys, and a few N64 games. He had some nice stuff, but nothing I needed. But let me show you guys what I did buy. There's a bit of everything here. Um, lots of milk. And some ham. I didn't buy it on the flea market. The supermarket was open and we needed milk and ham. Okay, so I did buy quite quite some few quite a few games this time. Most it's mostly games what I bought this time. Uh, let me get some of the useless crap out of here. That was making so much noise. My parents were selling crap from my aunt and uncles. They delivered they didn't want it, so they were selling that. It was meant to sell. And they were selling this thingy. It's the most ugly doll ever, but this is glass and this stand is wood. So I'm gonna break off this fugliness that is that thing. It's so creepy. I'm gonna paint it over and I'm gonna use this for like um, some of my figurines because it's very cool for that. I bought one CD for my fiance. Um, I know she collects them. I don't know if she already has it, but it was only 30 cents. It's um, Malice Misère, and the album is a Merveille, which is this alternative rock, punky, metal-like band, it's hard to describe. And 30 cents, and it's like brand new. Sorry that I'm like digging for the crap here, I really just came home, I didn't prepare anything for this. Okay, let's go with the games. I bought one PlayStation 2 game, The Simpsons. It cost me like three euros. I bought this and I'm really happy for it. I've been looking for this game for so long. It's a uh, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. It says five euros, but I asked it for four euros. I've been wanting this game for so long. GameCube is one of my favorite systems and Donkey Kong is one of my favorite characters and I always wanted this game because it wasn't a rhythm game technically. It's like a platformer where you use the bongos. It's, it's very weird but yeah. Whenever they have this game it's either in the pack and it's way too expensive or it's the game loose and it's way too expensive. So 4 euros was a very good price. It's complete in box. It's in perfect condition and everything. And the disc is in perfect condition. 
And now I bought a few Game Boy games still. There was all on the same dude. He wanted. Yeah, let me see what he wanted first, right? He had these, obviously, these loose um, cases. And there's so obviously for each game I bought, I took one of those cases, you know? He had. The. Um, you might want to put that in correctly next time. He had Dr. Franken. Which he wanted two euros for. Uh -uh. Sorry, I, I'm gonna sneeze very pretty soon, so I'm gonna apologize for that in advance. Then he had Dark Wing Duck. And he wanted five euros for that. He had Prehistoric Man. He also wanted five euros for that. And he had complete in the box battle toads. He had a lot more, he had a lot more, he had a lot of crap. Um, he wanted um, 7 euros for this one. So in total, it would have been like 19 euros. And I said I'd take it for 15, and he said yes. <laughs> Sorry, it's allergies. I don't know why. Since like two days, I've been allergic to something in my house, and it's very annoying. But yes, the battle toads is complete. Let me show you guys. See like the game and the booklet. Here it comes. I hate it when a sneeze won't come. I must look like an idiot on the video now. And like I said, that was 15 euros and he had a lot more. A lot of Game Boy games, a lot of crappy ones that I wasn't prepared to pay for what he asked. And like a Game & Watch wanted 50 euros for that. I'm sorry, I know that's not worth it. There was another woman who had Chibi Robo, which is the Game Boy game I want most of all out of anything still. And she wanted 20 euros for it. She said, yeah, I looked it up online, the prices, before that. It's pretty rare. I told her, yeah, it's not that rare. <laughs> I bought one more thing actually, that was it, but I bought one more thing, it was in my pocket. Um, I collect these kind of figurines, but not the standard hippos and alligators and animals. You know, my brother collects those, but the kind of surprises, the eggs that have the toys in them. I collect these, this is the last one I need, it only cost me like 10 cents. It's like, um, let me hope it zooms in a bit. It's like a little gnome. But at the same time, it's a toucan. I have the entire series now completed. This is the only figurine I missed. My dad spotted it for me. I'm so happy with that. It's stupid, but I'm almost most happy with this figurine. I've been looking like for almost three years for this fucking figurine. And that's it. It's not. A lot, but I spent like 20 euros. I don't do that a lot, spend that much money. So, the quite a few games. CD, the figurine, and I'm not gonna have. Stay real.